Yeah. 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 Receive truth. 
to spend time with people whose wisdom forces you to stretch, to grapple with complex information. My fear is that too many young people are being kicked to the curb, not by others, but by themselves. And by their not taking advantage of their full potential. Too many young men mistakenly believe that bronze is substitute for brain in the real world and that they can live by the sweat of their brow alone. They're dead wrong. Ask any elite athlete and he'll tell you brain power undergirds bronze power. The athlete needs to be able to think strategically so that he can leverage his powers at shooting hoops, running the field or running the court, following the ball, or finishing the 18th hole of a golf under par. I'm working on my golf game. <laughs> think about it. What makes Michael Jordan superior to other athletes? There are other players with his physical stature and musculature and willingness to train long hours, but they don't possess his most valuable characteristics, his drive, his will to win, and his uncanny genius for the game. In short, they do not have Michael Jordan's brain power. Don't be afraid. Wisdom only abounds and is yours for the taking. As you make room for new ideas, questions, or questions over <coughs> and flex your brain muscle, be prepared. You'll find the boat will rock before it moves forward. Mm -hmm. Thinking can be disturbing and unsettling and can cause restlessness on both sides of the aisle. Some will become angry because you offer the unconventional agenda, have a difference of opinion, raise questions that should have been asked and asked a long time ago, trainers. Others will become vexed, threatened by the fact that you will have the intelligence and commitment to fix what is broken. As you rock the boat, upset the old apple cart, and detour, and detour from the way things have always been done, you probably won't find yourself surrounded by cheerleaders. A society actually wants and needs you to take charge of your own life. There is a universal craving for thinkers in a time when, for example, too many of the nation's children have learned to multiply before they have learned to subtract. Mm -hmm. Use your brain to be a positive agent for change. Mm -hmm. And as you meet some inevitable resistance from some fellow travelers, remember that anonymous members of society do not exist. Each of us has an obligation to pay for the space we occupy, and no privileges are afforded for non-involvement. Engage yourself. I can go on and tell you that C is for courage, D is for dedication, E is for effort. But before I go to G, that is for genius, and I for intuition, and J for justice. Let me go back to the F that is for freedom. Freedom is your birthright. It is the birthright of all people the world over, regardless of race, color, creed, politics, economics, or gender. It is the basic human right. Without freedom, we have nothing particularly the opportunity to develop our full potential. It means the right to be, the right to do, what everyone wishes without impeding upon the rights of others. But freedom is not and never has been free. Call it a salad bowl or a melting pot. Regardless of the label, America is a crazy quilt of fiercely independent, self-determined individuals enjoying the invaluable bounty freedom of force. While there are those, of, those who take it for granted, for many Americans, freedom is not a given. It is precious. Look deeply into the eyes of these Americans, and you will see a profound understanding of how much freedom has cost a veteran of the World War I, a Haitian, a Cuban, a Russian recipient of political asylum, a professor whose research criticizes the government's politics, a survivor of the Holocaust, a gay man who is out his employer. 
There are those who would encroach on this invaluable terrain and push back our progress. We must never assume that the fight for freedom is over. Keep your torch lit and carry it high. In the last few years, international rights organizations have purchased the liberty of thousands of slaves in the Sudan at the rate of $55 a head. Astonishing, isn't it? Many people assume slavery was a thing of the dark distant past, never to be repeated. Every day around the world, Tens of thousands are held in bondage. Their basic human right denied, their dignity debased, and their humanity despised. It wasn't so long ago that certain freedoms we now take for granted were withheld. Our understanding and our support of the full meaning and possibility of freedom continues to evolve. As our knowledge of this human right continues to become more sophisticated, we must continue to seek out and liberate and protect those for whom freedom is just a word. For today, when we consider those falsely accused and imprisoned, or those reduced to living in riot zones where they can't walk the streets past dust, or those elderly who can't afford proper medical treatment or food, or those young men who can't walk freely without arousing fear and recrimination, or those handicapped who can't access a supposedly accessible facility, or those who are denied financing or jobs because of their color, gender, or sexual preference, can we really tell ourselves that their freedom is intact? Can we still truly believe that we all are free? No. Freedom is never free. Now, okay. K is for know-how, how to use what you have to get what you need. L is for the life that is happening while you're making your plans. M is for meditation. Take time, and everything is quick today. Everything wants, everybody wants it overnight. We need to take enough time to get to know who we are, get to know ourselves. And N is for doing it now. We cannot wait until tomorrow or think that we have time to do things. You need to stop procrastinating and do it now. As I was sitting at the uh, table getting ready uh, during the earlier part of the program, I looked at my O. O is for organization, but also O is for the song that's written on the program. Ask the Lord to order your steps. Means guide you and give you some discernment as to what is right and what is wrong. E is for preparation, but also P stands for peacemaking. I think that if most of us would spend more time figuring out how we can make and keep peace rather than disturbances, disturbing things, life will be much better. Q is for questions. Don't feel shy about asking questions. When you don't know or you want to know, ask the question. And there isn't a wrong question. You ignorance, you will suffer more from being ignorant than you would for thinking that you asked the wrong question. R is for risk. All of us have to take risk in life. S is for survival, and nobody knows more about that than that most of us sitting in this room. T is for truth. U is for unity, and B is for vision. Never lose sight of the top of the mountain. Aim, aim high, aim high, and follow your vision straight to the top. First though, you must aim. Do you have a sense of where you want to go, or do you draw a blank when you hear that question? If you can't picture where you like to be five years from now, do not stare harder, relax, and turn your focus inward. Find a quiet place. Close your eyes and concentrate on visualizing the spot between your eyes. Notice what thoughts and images float through your mind and try to imagine a place where you feel happy and fulfilled. Then describe to yourself that place and how you see it. Some people call it virtual reality, virtualization, but you're never too young to have
have a vision and think about where you want to be and how you want to get there. W is for wisdom. X is for x-ray, meaning don't always take people at face value. Sometimes you have to look at their circumstances and their environments and then determine, not based upon what you have heard, but what you know about the individual, and then you can determine how your relationship will go with them. Why is for you, and this is one of my favorite ones. Why means you think about yourself as being a corporation, and the name of that corporation is you incorporated. You think about how you manage your time, your life, your finances, your circumstances, who you're with, what you read, what you don't read, what kind of movies you see, how much you watch television. If there's anything that's hindering your personal growth and development, if there's anything that's in the way of your becoming closer to the Lord, if there's anything that's keeping you from reconciling with someone that you've had a quarrel with, you need to rethink that. Because no man is an owl, no woman is an owl. We need each other. We need to understand the value of being together, not only as a people or as black people or pan-African. This world is filled with so many colors, and we need each other. Z is for the zodiac, and Z is also for Zion. That was the part of the song that was sang, sang earlier. Look beyond the stars. Look high. Think about all of the good things that life has to bring. Yes, there will be stumbling blocks. And there are about 28 people on our list in the Pan-African Union who will be graduating. We have high expectations. We want you to understand that this education was not just an academic education and with a degree. There are expectations that you will go out into the world and be able to make the world a better place to live wherever you go. You may not all be lawyers. You may not even be the kind of person who will end up with one of these dot-com companies and making a lot of money. But whatever we do, you think about how you as an individual can give back to society. We're looking forward to bigger and better things. And we're looking forward to those bigger and better things from each and every one of you. Thank you for this opportunity. On behalf of the Pan African Student Union and everyone here, we thank you again, Ms. Simon, for your wonderful speech. And um, it was very enlightening. And right now, we're going to have Ms. Sherry Lurkin sound for us. And then we'll get into our awards banquet. Thank
I always stand here in the shadows and, uh, and the spirit of uh, my friend and predecessor, Emanita Gay Hawthorne, and she left this to me to take care of and to help to work in, and uh, she's smiling down on us. I can, I can just feel that, and I just wanted to share that with you, uh, particularly those of you who, who knew Manita. Um, what I'm going to do is, is call off the names of students who have earned uh, recognition by being a part of this thing called Augsburg College which is very intimate, very involved. There's a lot of things going on here. And as I have shared, uh, the education and, and the educational experience just is in the classroom. In fact, those of us who work on the staff side of things have a tendency to believe that the real factor in the educational process here at Augsburg happens to be with students who are active and involved with one another outside of the classroom, who are active and involved in issues, who are active and involved in organizations outside of the classroom. Those are the experiences that are really carry them into life and throughout life. And so with that, we want to continue to recognize those students. Um, some students are going to have multiple recognitions, and I will call those out as we share them. But I would like those students who are here, uh, as I call your name, to come up here, and I will hand you your certificate or certificates. Um, and these are for, they're written in your program in terms of the areas that they're, that they're found in. Uh, and there is a possibility that we have overlooked a few students here and there. So uh, charge it to our head and not our heart, as we say. For participation as a delegate in the pan African Student Leadership Conference, our first uh, activity award for the pan African celebration goes to Dega Ali.
Kimberly Colbert for participation in band in the music department. Um, these are people I know who aren't here. Amente Develo for uh, maintaining a great point average.
participation as a delegate in the Pan-African Leadership Conference and for presenting in the Pan-African Culture Series, Elsa. I saw her earlier. She must have been there. For presenting the first of the series this year, the Pan-African Culture Series, the Zimbabwe presentation goes to George Kogwadi. This 
of his message, Delegate at the Peta Student Leadership Conference and serving as Mistress of Ceremonies to the Empress.
surprisingly, Rosina was re-elected as chairman, uh, and Sabrina was re-elected as treasurer. Sophia Thompson. Is Sophia here? I should, I should also say this, she was, um, uh, I had a few of these up here for her, so I might as well give them, I didn't, I overlooked here, my apologies. Uh, so Sophia, and Fatimata, and April, and Rosina, and Sabrina are our leadership for the Pettit Student Union for next year. So just give them a little something right now. <laughs> what I overlooked with Sophia is that Sophia served as a delegate at the Pan African Student Leadership Conference and she maintained a great Pan of 3.0 in her first year. Uh oh. Thank you, and I have your card up here, so you can get it later. 
Thank you. <laughs> now moving on. Um, firstly, as we all know, Mr. Mukulin DZ Joe Young and Sister Joy Young had a, a beautiful baby girl, and we want to congratulate them on that. Um, to get signatures for you and Sister Joy. So here's your card for the beautiful baby. And you will have, be having something else coming in later. Just your card for now. So we want to say <laughs> congratulations. And um, now we're going to move on to um, our number one presentation of the year. <coughs> we love Brother Joy. to do for you and what we wanted to get for you. And, um, basically, all we could really think of is that you hold us together. You're like, Miss Anita, she was the foundation, but you keep building us up and building us up. So, we decided to get you this sculpture right here. We're hoping your gifts. So everybody would know what it represents. It's basically this foundation here, and it's all these African, beautiful African people just held together by this man up here on top. And we're just reaching and building. So we want to give this to you, Brother Joe. you with represents collectiveness, hard work, determination, and unity, what the Pan-African Center Union stands for. Our message of unity began in the heart of Emanita Gay Hawthorne and was ignited in the soul and spirit of every one of us. Thank you once again, Harambe, Pan-African Student Union, 2000 Oxford College. Give him the garbage too. Thank you. This year, 
uh, we have a new award called the Ambassador Award. And um, because there's a, there's a new sheriff in town, his name is Ray Miller. And we had to come up with something new for Ray because Ray's new. Uh, something different for Ray because Ray's different. And he's different in a good way. He's different in a way that, that you don't see yourself see. Ray, I can, I'm going to say this publicly, is perhaps the most disarming person I've ever known. Yes. Um, he's the kind of person I think that can deal with stress in a way that calms other people down who are hyped up. And uh, he's done some unique things. We gave him some awards because of his participation as a football player on the basketball, on the track and field. Uh, you know, basketball. <laughs> But being a delegate at the conference, and and um, and he's been involved in so much, so many other things besides the fact, as we pointed out earlier, that he has been elected as a freshman, the first black president of the student body government in the history of this campus, and it says something about him uh, because it wasn't just past student members that voted for him; it was other people, other students who voted for him, who obviously saw something that they liked in him even though they didn't know who he was, because he literally came out of nowhere. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, he's, he, he's very personable, uh, and I think he's very trustworthy. And I think that's what the student uh, body put into his trust, the trust that he emits for any most from himself. And so we created a new award that we'll be giving out every year for representing Pan-Africanism throughout the Augsburg community, presented to Ray Diller, the Pan-African ambassador. Okay, Brit I would not be here. Uh, a couple of years ago. And she knew she was on her way home. And she had, for a number of years, prepared me to take over what she had worked on so diligently. And when she left, I came here in the interim, not intending on staying. Uh, I was getting ready to be married. I was actually preparing to move out of the state. And in fact, I didn't really even pursue the job diligently that I currently hold at this time, at this time while I was in the interim. And uh, Trina said to me, pray about it. Now, you might not necessarily expect to hear that from a student. Here is the college student. Pray about it. Not that I hadn't prayed about it, not that I hadn't considered it, but
but it was more uh, the encouragement that I was looking for, I was looking for in other ways. And her encouragement was to pray about it. And I learned at that moment that Anita's spirit still exists within the hearts of people and students who are here. I say this because not only do I know I wouldn't be here, but I wouldn't even be successful if it wasn't for uh, my little sister Trina Bowler, who we're going to miss her out here. She's basically been you know, the leader, and, and uh, her energy, her leadership, her drive, her enthusiasm, her, her focus on herself in terms of her own goals and yet her balance of the needs of others, um, as well as and more, most importantly, her spirituality. You know, to have, to have a, a huge sense of balance about yourself only comes from having a right relationship with the Lord. And uh, uh, she certainly has that. When I first met her, uh, when, she was a, when she was a freshman, she said, she told me she was going to be a, a movie star. <laughs> and I have no doubt in my mind Sometime in the next five years, when you go to your local theater, you're going to see the name Trina Bolton in somebody's film, if it's not her own. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look forward to that day. Uh, I'm hoping, I always joke, but I hope she remembers who we were when she was here, when she gets there. But I have to, without hesitation, reservation, or, or any dissension, uh, give the Eminem Gay Hawthorne Senior Award to Trina Bolton. Social work with your here, come on up. 
Leah Carlson, BE in Studio Art, Gerald West, BS in Chemistry, Brian Warden, BS in Economics, Kuteta Wako, BS in Management Information Systems, uh, Aika Rua Temu, BS in Business Administration and Management, Tanya Pittman, uh, BE in Social Work, Dan Madsen, BE in English, Dwayne Loban, BE in Urban Studies and Political Science. Matt Lane, BA in Physical Woo! Education. Go ahead, Matt, Emmanuel BS in Accounting and Finance. Alyssa Hansen, BA in Mathematics. Fatumata Jain, BA in English. And Nessa Bakula, BS in Management Information Woo! Systems. Trina Bolden, BA in B.S. in Computer Science, Dula Tedessa, B.S. in Computer Science, uh -huh. Sezazu Sukesa, B.S. in Computer Science, Amente DeBello, B.S. in Computer Science, David Schilling, B.S. in Computer Science, Diane Walker, uh, Master of Education and Leadership, Ruth L. West, Master of Social Work, Helen Lewis, Master of Social Work,
then it came to a time where I needed to think about my friends because they were not always the top of my mind or my train of thought. So I'm a very focused and determined person. Uh, and then it came to me, oh yes, Trina, you need to pray. And so I began to pray. And my next three years that I here at Oxford became easier for me and um, I was able to handle them. Um, so I want you all to know that you may, you will go through some strenuous things in the day-to-day -day schedule of things and on a week-to-week basis and month-to-month -month basis. And you will learn from this. You will. Believe me, you will. Many of you haven't learned it yet. You will. Just don't give up. As I always say, don't give up. Stand strong. And remember that your life is not a compromise. That your life is a blessing that's given to you, so therefore you don't have to compromise it to no one. Stay true to yourself and to others around you. And um, we are here for a reason. We just have to fulfill that purpose. And thank you once again. Before I go, I got to do two more recognitions. One is um, Miss Mary Williams is getting ready to retire. So we got to give her a good clock. Miss Williams is, a, is, is an alum, I believe. No, not alum. But she's been here a long time <laughs> teaching all these students stuff that hopefully they learn something. I learned something. Okay. <laughs> The other thing is, is there's two people who actually really gave me a lot of support. Um, among faculty and staff, I, I've really been supported this year by two people. One is Michelle Swan, who is uh, the hall director of Anderson. She's really given me a lot of support. She's been there helping with students and, and helping with students as well. The other person is, uh, I got to recognize him, and I got a little something here for him, is Jimmy Hodges. is someone who's given me a lot of support this year and helping with all the things that we've done. Jimmy is the, the director of, of the, the facilities, conventions, event stuff, and he helps to set, make sure all this stuff is set up. But beyond that, um, he works a lot directly with students, helping to make sure, particularly with the fellas, that they, you know, they stay in line and they you know, put them in check from time to time and you know, give them that love and hug when they need that. And, and uh, that's been real helpful to me. So I just want to thank you, Jimmy, and I got a little something here that Give me thanks with. Yeah, come on up and get it. Written 
means God bless Africa. Uh, uh, just to warn you all, you can as well close your ears because I cannot sing. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, on the serious note, I would just like to dedicate this song because it's been uh, one of those national anthems we had for about 14 years before we changed into a, our own written Shona and Tabele and, you know, national anthem. But uh, as you all know, with the news that's going around that Zimbabwe is in chaos. And um, singing this song uh, just reminds me of the old days when there was a model for democracy in Africa, in Southern Africa in particular. But uh, it's all coming down and uh, hope for the better and for the best for my country. Um, uh, it's uh, this song here is actually uh, as um, renowned and as honored as the United States National Anthem, so I would really love all of us to stand up and as we do sing the song. read the English version all together. Lord bless Africa. May your spirit rise high up. Hear thou our prayers. Lord bless us. Lord bless Africa. May your spirit rise high up. Hear thou our prayers. Lord bless us, your family. Descend, O Spirit, descend, O Holy Spirit, Lord, bless us, your family. Thank you. 
the importance of this event for all of us, not just here in Las Vegas, Kansas, but across the world. Amen? Amen. I'm going to say this piece in honor of Ray Dillard in terms of what his leadership represents on this campus at this time. And this talks a little bit even about what George was weaving now. That sometimes we just don't get it, but we need to get it. Inauguration, exhilaration, expanding opportunities for unfolding potential. Reaching for excellence in an effort to know, grow, and expand to a new identity. A changing of the guard from king to servant and from prince to subject. Meek and humble, armed with an expanding reality. We sat on the edge of a dream, recovering from the nightmare of aimless nothingness. We reached for the stars, the moon, and God's sun, who shines in the face of new millennium possibilities. How dare we become complacent in the midst of change? How dare we become hopeful that victory has unlimited change? Surrounded by questions and answers, poised for knowledge, aiming and missing opportunities for failure and success. Focusing and fashioning our framework and destiny on the joys and triumphs of trying and training. For the real life struggle under pressure is bringing and going. Please bow your heads and join hands as a symbol of our commitment and responsibility to each other as an Oxford community and as a worldwide global community. God, we thank you for this time together, understanding that we stand here on the blood of millions who have died for this opportunity. And we don't take this responsibility or this privilege lightly for a minute. Knowing that even a few miles from here, people are dying in the street because they have no vision, they perish. So here you've given us a wonderful opportunity to integrate this door to the prospects of an education. And therefore, we reach out to one another in every community. And by your power, your grace, and faith in you, we will be. By my God, we will run through a troop, and by my God, we will be the reward for me. Thank you for this in advance. And we link today in honor of you, the gift of Emmanuel Gay Hawthorne, and the gift of New Fung Easy Joe Young. Thank you for the students that made it. Thank you for the students that are making it. We lay our life down for them. Now bless us as we leave this place, but not your presence. We leave here with our mind to do great things. In Jesus' name, I say Harambe. 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 Harambe.